Hey guys, it's Kim here, and welcome to Alone With You, a sci-fi romance adventure. Now, I haven't played a story game for ages, and I've had my eye on this for a while, which uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about once we get started. Um, so I'm very happy to actually have a story-based game to play this year. Um, so yeah, let's get underway, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it once we get started. So here we are, crashed on a colony. I am this little guy over here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a robot or not. Um, but I, it looks like I have a pretty cool spaceship. Or land, land vehicle, maybe? Oh, wow. Now, I think you can guess already one of the reasons why I wanted to play this game. It's retro. I love retro games. It's sci-fi. I love sci-fi games. I love the sounds that they have going on in this. And there's the other reason I wanted to play this. It's done by Benjamin Rivers, uh, the last game of which I actually played, I think, in the first year of my YouTube channel called Home, uh, which was a very simple pixel horror adventure that I quite enjoyed the story of. So I'm quite interested to see what he's got for us in a sci-fi setting. Um, so this is our home, as it were. And uh, we're part of a colony, and we're the last survivor in this colony. Uh, not sure why, but let's sync up with the AI core. And uh, see what they have to say. Man, I so this is our AI core. Hello. I'm glad you made it back. I assume you were at your usual lookout over the rift again. Yes, I was. Uh, you must have seen the worsening situation out there. Did you notice the planet's instability on your way here? Um, no. I didn't really notice it, to be honest. Uh, our survival here would benefit if you paid a little bit more attention. Okay, fine. Bossy. The situation is unfortunately quite dire. The Hudson Cartier Cartier uh, terraforming project 27A has unequivocally failed. As you remember, we started with dozens of staff, over 2,000 robots and drones, and a very specific plan. Uh, okay, so <laughs> the entire facility is a write off. 15 years of work has been undone. <laughs> Would it shock you to know that? By estimates, we have less than a month to survive. Okay, well that sounds pretty crappy, but I guess so. Okay, so we got three critical weeks here. Um, so we're the last survivor on this colony. As uh, our AI said, let's give our AI a name. Let's call them, oh, I don't know, Benedict. Uh, so Benedict is the AI, we're the last survivor. We've got three weeks to survive. And there is an escape ship in Colony A. What's the bad news, though? If we can transmit an emergency signal to the home office, we can likely intercept a company vessel in our ship. Okay, so there are four key systems on the escape pod that I can't repair, and you, I'm not trained. Well, speak for yourself, Benedict. However, as you recall, this colony includes a hollow sim chamber to help the population deal with the often lonely, monotonous reality of life out here. Thankfully, the chambers still operate. How convenient. Okay, so four other colonists were experts in the appropriate fields. Okay, so let's see who they are. We have Winnie Laurier, who's the comms expert. Pierre Tong, who's the colony director. Leslie Baradouage, who ran the agro domes, um, so he could probably help with life support and food. And Jean Lamamba, who is resource man management. Okay, so they're, I presume they're dead, and we only have their holograms. Holographs? Holograms? Uh, to help teach us stuff. I can help direct you to some of the materials we need to fix the ship, but some of the details were only known to these four crew. Sadly, my systems, some of my systems have become corrupted as the colony has failed. I am less useful as to you. Aw, oh, don't say that, Benedict. You're always useful to me. But if we could get the hollow system to recreate these four key colleagues, we might stand a chance of getting off this planet. Okay, so we need to basically work with those guys, their holograms, uh, to try and get off this planet. Okay, so that's a plan. Let's register our name. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna go for my 
age old whatever game unless it's Legend of Zelda I'm always nano uh, there we go that is correct am I a robot am I a human or am I a dancer okay so it looks like it's just you and me Benny so it looks like Benny's gone to sleep so now I think Basically how this works is every day we have three weeks to kind of um, get off this planet and every day we'll have missions to help us survive and rebuild the escape pod um, and then in the evenings we will go and chat to the hollow sims to try and get some information. <laughs> I really love these little animation screens, they're so cute. I just love the music and how this sounds as well. This is pretty much everything sci-fi. We've had a really good year for sci-fi, I think. A really terrible year for horror and not so great for story, but I think a really great year for sci-fi. I think sci-fi is where everyone's head's at. Time is of the essence. How are you functioning today? Are you well? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, so we need to go back to the core. Okay, so basically, the situation's bad, stuff is breaking, I've left an empty photo frame, a rag, and some non-functioning equipment. Okay. Um, right, sociology, terraforming, and engineering. I'll never understand why people prefer physical books to their digital counterparts. I'm definitely one of those people, like, I don't really have a I don't want a Kindle. I'll never use a Kindle. I've tried. I borrowed my friends for a bit. Really didn't like it. Um, I definitely prefer actual physical books. It's just something about holding them in your hand. And, yeah, I just don't like Kindles. Uh, okay. So, Benedict has scanned the colonies. And we need to go to the comms relay to find five communication devices. Okay. And that's where Winnie was. Well, that should be good. Um, so maybe we shall figure out a little bit more about Winnie. Okay, so I guess this is where we are. These areas are inaccessible. Uh, that's where we are now. So we need to get to the comms relay and find out about Winnie. So let's roll out, Autobots. It's probably been a long time since you've been to the comms relay. I don't believe you had occasion to come here often, if at all. When the other conlists separated, this was considered a prime location, but only one person had the expertise to make good use of it. And they're probably dead. Okay, let's go get some uh, bits of comms then. Get in there. <laughs> oh boy, even from here, I can sense how damp and musty it is in there. It probably smells like an old puddle. The increasing acidity of this plant's rainfall has apparently weakened and damaged the structure. Okay. Why? That's why I don't understand why you go for the lookout near the rift. It's harmful to your suit. I'm fine. I can deal with it. I can deal with a little bit of acid rain. Uh, okay, so I guess we got to go up. Conveniently, it will only go up, not down. That is locked. So I guess we go up. Uh, yes, let's go up. I, I, I know I keep saying it, but I really like the sounds this game has. Um... Broken terminal. It's not functioning. Why can't I access it, you butt? Uh, looks like a bedroll. Looks like someone's been living here. What is this? A portable lamp. It was kept on, perhaps as a beacon. Okay. Whoever the comms relay was using that room frequently. Interesting. Uh, scan this. It's a series of torn pages, likely from a notebook. The dark. <laughs> I was born in the darkness. Why struggle? <laughs> I'm not going to read this as Bane. You know, I've been, you know I've been here. I've been waiting all this time. Why don't you give up? It's not my nature to give up. Really? I'm not so sure about that. For a long time, even amongst your peers, you gave up. Or at least you seemed to withdraw from them. Isn't that like giving up? No, it's like taking a step back to get a run up. Because they did. The further you isolated yourself, the less they felt like reaching out. Didn't you notice that? Okay. It's interesting though, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's curious. 
but I don't really know what it has to do with me trying to survive on a planet that's slowly killing me. Uh, right, let's go up again. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Sure. Uh, is there anything I can check around here? Elevator. Locker room is locked. But bridge tower. Okay. Hello. Another bedroll. Some soggy tissues. Bunch of books. Philosophy titles from human writers. Okay. The first page have a monogram on it. W. I bet you that this is Winnie's. Winnie's books. Uh, what's this? Okay, so someone repaired it. Right, okay. So that has helped uh, Benedict to make communication parts more redundant and fail-safe. So we know you need four more bits. Okay, that's cool. What about this giant coil of wire over here? Um, so I'm guessing we need to unlock like that locker room. Let's go up. I look like a rude dude. I look super cool. Super mysterious and cool. Uh, this is locked. Conduit room. Conduit room. Choo! Okay. Hello? Service panel. It's been jury-rigged to allow non-standard signals. So someone's tried to send out weird signals? Okay. So this is interesting to find out what happened to the colony, like why... There are a few components in the town than you think. Okay. So it's not been fitted up very well, or at least by Benedict's standards. Another set of pages. So what made you change your mind? You're here talking to me now. You wouldn't have entertained that before. What changed? Well, this is the end, isn't it? There's no one else out there, so I'm talking to you. Okay, so is Paula me and is the Dark Benedict? Uh, there are others out there. You can still hear them on your radio, but can I? They don't know I made a new radio. Okay. Well, that's curious. I think I'm siding with Paula, because she's in a dire situation like me. Uh, looks like some more... Oh, discarded food wrappers for food and snacks. It took over 10 Earth years of R&D to develop food that could travel such distances and still be palatable. Because of the efficiency with which Hudson Cartier transported uh, colony deployments, a lot of food could be included. Well, that's good. Oh dear, previous colonial missions were less successful because of inefficient cargo and food stores. Until the Agrodomes, which I guess that third lady made for us. What do we got here? Old Earth technology. So it looks like the colonists collected old Earth technology. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to figure out what happened to everyone. Are you going to turn off the security locks? Yes. Which probably means this uh, whole area is now infested with zombies. Good job. Good job, Nano. Alright, let's head back down now that we've unlocked everything. Okay, so this was a storage room that was locked before. What's this? What can I look at here? Another safety lamp. It looks like someone has been sleeping here. Okay. Um, is there anything I can use here? Another pile of books. Adventure stories. You humans do seem to love these kinds of fantastic tales. Yes. Okay, so they also bear the monogram W as well. I mean, this would be my stash, really. This would be me sticking to old technology. Nothing beats curling up with a good book. What do we got here? A hanging tarp. A heat absorbing thin synthetic blanket. Um, what do I think it was used for? Probably a curtain. 
Yeah. I, I hope you agree with me. I don't know what, what that means. Small books, small books. Social interaction. How to be a nice person. Uh, boning up. Well, I've, I've never really used the expression boning up. Uh, not really. Yeah, I mean, you can say burning up. I wouldn't, because I think that's a horrible expression. Portable terminal. Okay, so we found that. We only need one more communication part. So I found another set of notes. The last interview with Paula M. Paula suffered a long and arduous struggle against the dark, and now in her final moments, she relented to its questions. So could this be someone's kind of struggle with depression, maybe? Um, so that's certainly kind of the field notebook. That's the first part of the story that I kind of just walked over. So yeah, I wonder if it's kind of a an expression of depression, an exploration. So the story... Who do you listen to the most? The gardener woman, the drone leader, the self-appointed director? It's almost like a diary, actually. Because those sound like the people that we need to talk to. William. Sometimes he still broadcasts in the old colony. He sends me little messages, actually. Okay. And why him? Why William? He was so important here. He kept things working. He kept things repaired. So I think that was the, the colony leader or is that someone else when he stopped communicating it felt like the end of the world you said it yourself okay there's no point arguing the inevitable okay yeah so I wonder if William is reference to Mr. William King who was the maintenance chief in Colony B well I hope you re remember this Benedict um, I feel like we might need this in tonight's hologram session. Okay, so I think we got the last bit of comm stuff. Okay. So let's head back home, I guess. So we're back and checking in with Benedict, who has synced all the data. Uh, okay, so the holo sim is running. The chamber's a little shaky. Okay, thank you. You can retire to your quarters when I've got the hollow sim sable. I'll call for you, okay? Oh, Benedict, I was trying to sleep. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry to wake you, but I need to show you something. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I was able to make final adjustments for the hollow sim. Okay. So, okay, let's go. I'll, I'll happily meet someone. Look at note. There's a mate... There's a maintenance note that says at Yosp and also away game on it. It also says Mr. Yoshida's favorite dog. Is that Yoshida-san as in head of Sony? Because I think his Twitter handle is like Yoshi P as well or something like that. I have no idea what it means. Well, I'm guessing it has something to do with <laughs> Yoshida-san, head of Twitter. Uh, head south, okay. Let's go. Oh, how convenient that the chamber will only work at night. <laughs> I'll, you'll be low powered. Good. Uh, I won't be able to see or hear what happens. Okay, well that's good because I don't kind of trust you. I have a general distrust of, you know, AI. Um, but, okay, so between the time you will strictly be between you and whoever you're seeing, in the morning the holograms will sync their data and ideas with me. So tonight we're meeting Winnie. Okay. They're based on data backups I keep for each key member of the colony. They infect in the very same people. Look, I've seen Star Trek. I know how this works. Uh, the rift event broke off communication with other parts of the facility and I lost track. Okay. They won't remember anything past a certain point. Okay. How convenient. So it sounds like the way they said, um, night. It sounds like... There was a rift that tore everyone apart, tore, tore all the colony parts apart. Um, so yeah, let's meet Winnie. Oh, hi there. Don't mind me. I'll just be me in a minute to finish these calculations. The AI told me about your trip today. Did you find those items you need? 
uh, yes. Okay, so, uh, you guys, like, you know, feel free to read the song on your own time. If you need to pause the video, then go ahead. I'm not gonna read all of this out, because it will drive me slightly insane. Okay, so have a seat, and let's chat. Let's get to know each other, Winnie. Teach me about comms. Okay, we can simulate pretty much whatever we need to help us figure stuff out. Whatever you scan out there, the AI can give it to us, okay? Uh, this old room. So this is your apartment back on Earth. Uh, I don't think it's weird. You should always be comfortable. Having all my old books here and this old sofa, it feels like home. Yeah, I, I always believe you should feel like home. Okay, so what would you like to talk about? I'm gonna say you pick. Um, okay, let's see. Do I read much? Um, I say voraciously. Okay. Uh, I guess since you found a bunch of my books, okay? So all that snooping around paid off. I really like adventure stories, big one, big complicated ones. Sounds like you would like David Mitchell's uh, Bone Clocks book. It helped me deal with the relative closeness of living in the colony. So this is all interesting. There are programs that we all brought with us. Well, I guess, yeah, people use the holodeck to kind of get out there. Okay, so I think, yeah, Winnie definitely wrote that story about William. Um, although, yeah, he is married. He is married. I mean, I did, it did to all of us, but most of us were alone. Aww. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Well, what did happen to you guys? I guess you don't know. Um, let's talk about the sh ship's comms. Yeah, I mean, it would be great if we could get out into space and be able to talk to people. So if everything is functioning, you wouldn't want no way to contact people. Okay. That would be great. I never did that. Now to think of it, I was afraid to try it. Well, I, I don't recommend hitchhiking either. You never know who you might bump into. Um, I never talked this much before when I was real, alive. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's freeing. Maybe death is freeing. Oh god, that's a morbid thought. Uh, let's talk about the colony then. Uh, in the end, I don't think I could quite believe it was going to fail. Okay, so we arrived here in... 2048 and it's 2064 so about 20 years about 20 years 16 years there you go maths uh so much has happened and there was so much needless loss by the time we all arrived the remote colony building systems had all ba had all the basics ready what were you what were you doing out here though were you studying were you building okay so you didn't settle in I guess you withdrew, like the story said. Uh, so you were at the com- what did it feel like? Um, I might show her the pages. Yeah. That's probably embarrassing though. Sorry, Winnie. But I really like it. I mean, yeah, writing out stories is a good way to help process things like depression and mental health issues. It was good. I enjoyed it. You know, whatever helps people process feelings and thoughts and trying to deal with situations you're not very good at dealing with. I can't remember everything I wrote, okay. Uh, what did you think of what you read? I mean, if you did read it. It was good. Yeah. Genuinely, I liked it. I liked the abstractness. What else did you think about the comms relay? Um, it was damp. I don't think it was empty though. Uh, Hudson Rain, Hudson Carty knew of the weather systems on this planet. It had decades worth of survey data. A decade only tells you so much. Sounds like some of the planets I found in No Man's Sky. Uh, I'd be surprised if any of the structures that didn't suffer. In Colony B, we had it the worst. Things eroded so fast. So comms was fine. 
Uh, it's a good thing you have that scarf. Yeah, I don't really know... Um... I, no, I don't really want to give you it. You're an AI, so... I don't really know how a scarf is protecting me from acid rain. There are five towers in the relay. You must have been Tower A. It was never completed. Okay. The relay was designed to be redundant, so everything was in one place, and there were always backups of critical systems. Oh! Winnie designed it. There are issues with drones. We lost some capability, so we had to think on our feet. That's why Tower A is only half finished. I would have thought Tower A would be the one that you finish, and Tower... E is the one that's half finished. Um, it's almost like nothing went the way it was supposed to be. Don't be upset. Doomed to fail. Well, that's one way of thinking about it. I don't think I helped myself there. Uh, as I work in there, I keep thinking about the fact that I'm here and yet, well, I'm not. Well, that's a pretty big question to spring on someone. I mean... That's the thing about holodecks. Are you really there? I mean, they, they explored that in Star Trek Generations. And uh, apparently Benjamin Winters, the designer of this game, did take a lot of inspiration from Star Trek Generations, but it reminds me of that episode with Moriarty, where they had the Sherlock simulation that got out of control. This is the most recent vid, but does it count? Um, you're real to me? Yeah. I mean, I guess this is a romance simulator, so... Yes, I do have a lot to do, so... Uh, to see if you can figure out what happened to you. Okay. I promise. I'll try. I'll figure out what happened to you. I'd like to know what happened to you so it doesn't happen to me. But also, because it would be nice to know what happened to you. So... Yeah. Look at that. Awkward couch date. Do you have pizza? I feel you should have pizza. 